Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd. Happy Wednesday. I wanted to start off today by thanking everyone who participated in our fun hat days on Monday and Thursday, on Tuesday, not Thursday, I'm skipping days here. Um, and I wanted to let you know that if I didn't make it to your class to bring you an Unless Rock, I will be coming to your class on Friday. I think I got to most of the A group students and there were just, um, there was two fourth grade classes and two fifth grade classes I didn't make it to yesterday, which made me really sad, but I have your rocks and I will be coming around on Friday, so no worries. Okay. I have a fun picture of our flat og. Um, I'm going to show it to you here. This is our second grade friend, Liam York, and his younger brother. Look at all that scootering around with their flat og. I love it. Speaking of og, we are diving in again today. We are into chapter 10, Magic in the Air. So let's see what our question of the day is. Here's the question. Are you ready? It is, according to the students, what are two differences between frogs and hamsters? Oh, that's a great one. So using evidence from the text, right? What are two differences between frogs and hamsters? That'll be fun. I can't wait to see all the differences that everybody comes up with. I also kind of wonder about how they're similar. Are there any similarities? Interesting. Makes me think about a Venn diagram. Do you know what a Venn diagram is? Well, a Venn diagram, I'm gonna draw one right here. It looks like this. And in the one side, let's see, in this side, you'd put things that are only true for hamsters. And this side, you'd put things that are only true for frogs. And in the middle, you put things that they have in common. So things that are true for both hamsters and frogs. So that might be a way that you look at the differences today and stretch yourself to think about what are similarities as well. Okay, our Mr. Brown's precept, thinking like Lincoln quote for today, really um, focusing in again on our character trait for the month of March being joy. And so I found one that I thought was pretty fitting. It says, joy is a decision, a really brave one about how you are going to respond to life. And I loved that because I think about how many times in our day we have the opportunity to think about how we respond to different things that come our way. Maybe things that make us mad, sad, or frustrated, right? We can choose to see the good and looking for joy is a brave decision to really try to find how you can respond in positive ways to everything that comes your way. So I liked that. All right, let's go ahead and we'll stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I hope you all have a great day of learning at home, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow and Friday. Don't forget to wear your Lincoln gear, your green and gold, or your caveman blue, and we'll see who wins a spirit stick tomorrow and Friday. Have a great day of learning, everybody.